right, here we go. Uh, the nine and nine, number nine. Married couples are four times as wealthy as unmarried couples who live together. Uh, ah. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Why is that? Well, taking away the tax benefit, research suggests that married people are more likely to share a savings account and to invest together. Hmm. And sociologists think that one of the reasons, the main reasons, is married people have made a firm commitment to each other, so they're more likely to set goals yeah. together. And one of those goals is buying a home, which is one of the big indicators of shared wealth. And the research also shows that both married and unmarried couples show more satisfaction when they pool their ah, money together. Plus, it's a lot more expensive for married couples to break up. So they feel <laughs> yeah. you know, they're scared into what we got going on That's here. That's true. Yeah. yeah. All right, number eight, looking for something to do next summer? Try a cruise of the French countryside with your closest friends. This ship can sleep six guests comfortably with three cabin, double cabins. It's got an indoor lounge and a champagne bar. And get this, the champagne selections will change every time you get to a new region. Ah, all right. As if you could tell the difference. Yeah, exactly. They all the champagne tastes the same to me. Yeah, me too. There are also planned excursions and five-star meals. The first Ooh. cruise launches in May of 2023. Price? $80,000. Of course, you can split it with your friends. Sure. Oh, yeah. It's smaller than a traditional cruise ship, so you won't be overwhelmed mm. by, you know, other right. people there. Yeah, you have it to yourself. Grand divided by six, it's still that's pricey. Yeah. It looks still cool. pricey. Yeah. See if you get a thousand friends. And that yeah. doesn't it's look like eight bucks a person. Or you bucks. double up yeah. in a room and you do twelve friends. Well, yeah. Look at how small that boat is. Well, though. you're gonna need. That's. A... You get a lot of friends. It's just gonna be tight. You bring a hundred friends, you got the price down quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Number seven, a warning for when you're wrapping gifts this month. Double check your work. A woman in Australia accidentally used X-rated paper <laughs> to wrap her kids' gifts. I'm assuming we're not going to show that. Yeah, no. Uh, oh. She thought there were cartoon images of snowmen, but they were just, uh, we'll just say, it, you know, it was just a little riskier. Uh, so were the reindeer, I guess. Kids a little confused. They had a lot of questions, yeah. so she yeah. told them that they were just dancing. Yeah, they are. Huh. Oh boy. Uh, she posted, there you go. I think we do have some of the images oh we uh, have. We have to block some of this out here. I can't understand what's going on. Right? Well, you're not supposed to. So how, do you, how do you make that mistake? I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I can't imagine she bought this in Target, right? Like, there had to be a specific store yes. that she bought yeah. this in. Okay, so uh, there's a website I think here. They it's put called the carrot somewhere else other than <laughs> oh, the face. Oh, is uh, my guess. All right. Uh, this is called uh, a website. is called Cotton On. It's out of Australia. But you're right. I mean, yeah. Where did she get to... it? Didn't just yeah. right. Mm -hmm. ah. mm. All right, number six. Uh, because I'm fashion forward, I'm always looking ahead, which is why I'm so excited to share a look at the Dior Menswear pre-fall 2023 menswear show. And yes, I've already moved on to next year and so have these robu robust fellas. Take a look at these. Are they all pilots? Studs. Yeah, Dior made the great decision to hold the show in front of the Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. And now some of these looks could come off as maybe a little bit too tough, kind of like too much of a tough guy look. But I assure you that this is exactly what my pals will be wearing when we meet at the bar to watch the college football playoffs. A lot of fancy stuff like this. Yeah. And you just want to make sure you to get, you know, make sure you don't get like wig and sauce and stuff on the material and yeah. spill your beer and You can't get that a mosquito net hat. No. no, it's hard. It's very hard to get out. Anyway, I'm just happy there's finally some clothes out there for men who want to feel like men and uh, live like a beekeeper and stuff like that. <laughs> so much has become Look at it, feminized. place for your water bottle. Mm, yeah. You know, it's you, you, you. This is how you do masculine fashion. Look at that's it's like a like Star like Wars helmet. like you know. and flannel shirts back. That is something. Tough guys. Just like the ancient Egyptians wanted. <laughs> right. Yep. yep. Uh, number five, we told you about the hotel at the Bass Pro Shop yeah. in Memphis. Well, if that's not your speed, uh, how about a stay at the IKEA Hotel in Sweden? The furniture is from, uh, you guessed it, IKEA. And kind of like IKEA furniture, you know, it's not all that special. It's not bad. Yeah. It's just full of uh, Nordic pine and the color beige. A lot of beige. It's right next door to the first IKEA, wow. which is now a museum. And you can shop or drink an IKEA beer. What? Plus, you don't have to put anything together and argue with your wife. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
It's $84 for a yeah. room this week. Whew. That's only $84? That's and that, it. So it must be a small little room. Yeah. 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 Well, then, if that's the case, then we saw that family laid out in the common area in the couches, no shoes or socks on. Mm. And that I, was the I common area. Uh, yeah, no, that's what you that, noticed. Man. That's I, I, I can't help you it. You spotted that from a I'm like, if that's yeah. the common sitting area and you and got no your shoes. bare feet up on the couch, that's just not good manners, and they put it in right? Their advertising. Right. I maybe thought, it's the Swedes. Maybe it's the Swedes. The Swedes I, maybe like that foot stuff. All right. Swedish massage, Swedish massage, massage yeah. on the feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Swedish number four. Yeah. It's Tuesday. Let's take a few seconds <laughs> out of our busy lives to appreciate the beauty of nature. Oh, this is part of an exhibit called Awakening in Honolulu. Dry flowers dangle from the ceilings to create a natural curtain so visitors can get lost in a space of delicate petals and florals. Wow. There's another installation in Italy right now, and that includes dry flowers as well. Your only job is to sit back and relax and enjoy. What a blessing. Mm. That's fun. Dried flowers. Yeah. They're the best. But don't they fall apart and then they get all the petals yeah. fall on the floor? And so. Yeah. I, I try to just enjoy the now for the now. Yeah. Because yeah. if you start worrying about how it's going to ruin your life, right. you're That's usually how Robin thinks, too, right. is yeah. the positive first, right. which is why this is so surprising right. that she's thinking yeah, it's of surprising she was the clean up. Normally, the she now. would say, oh, this is such a great yeah. experience, and then not think of the negatives. Well, at that's all. the yeah. problem with regular flowers. They just, they die, they die so yeah. quick. But in the yeah. now, such as now, life. they're great. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can say that about people, really, right. if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's true. Yeah. That's no, true, very yeah. true, yeah. yeah. Uh, number three of the ten countries with the least paid vacation time for workers, the U.S. comes in at number two. Woo! Number two, That's right after good. Micronesia, that is a bunch of islands in the Philippine Sea, a career research platform found that the average American worker gets 10 paid days off a year after one year of service. And those days are almost all public holidays, like Christmas. Half of American workers do not get paid vacation, and most countries have a norm of four weeks of yeah. paid leave, mm. yep. which means sick and parental yep. days, regardless of you know, the father or the mother. Uh, the U.S. is uh, the only developed country that doesn't have paid vacation required by law. Lebanon, Nigeria, also on that list. Mm. All right, uh, number two, here's a clip from the Dolly Parton classic, A Smoky Mountain Christmas. Oh. Enjoy. There's a place down deep inside me where I never feel alone. And an ever-present feeling oh. and a voice that calls me home. Country memories oh. keep pulling at my heartstrings. Country memories wow. are the place I live right behind the same that I don't feel in. It's like there's a jazz exercise class in the yeah. middle of her. Yeah. 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 Interesting backup dancer yeah. choice. What a voice, though, right? What a voice. What a voice. I mean, her, her singing voice just amazing. Is it? Yes. I love it. Oh. She's the best. Huh. So yeah, good. if you haven't seen that, I mean, I, I don't know what you're waiting for. you got to stream it or <laughs> yeah. find it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Do something. Yeah. But uh, watch Smoky that this Mountain. holiday season. Get the whole family around. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, please do. Okay. Uh, all right, number one, uh, we're going to show you a clip from the show Judge Judy, and uh, you're going to enjoy it. It's from 2017, and it involves a dispute <laughs> over ownership of a dog. Okay. You're welcome. The defendant purchased a dog from a woman on the street. Yes. A life-changing day with Judge Judy. I'm not saying there's anything wrong. The question is, is it his dog? No. Well, you say no. That's why you're here. Judge Judy. Who's going to get the dog? You? You want to go get the dog? She said she has the dog here. Uh -oh. You want to show me something? Yes. What? I have a um, document from my vet, and um, they're saying the dog's a mixed breed and he's five years old. I have a health certificate. The question is, is this his dog? Your vet can't tell you how old the dog is. Your vet can tell you whether the dog is a puppy, whether it has puppy teeth, but whether it's three years old or five years old, your dog can't tell you that. That's a little exciting. Oh, oh. The dog. Yes, baby boy. Hey, boy. <laughs> hey, baby boy. Madam. Hey, man. Madam, listen to me carefully. Don't Put the dog don't. down. Don't. Put the don't. dog don't. down. Don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just answered it. 
Hey, boy. Hey, dear. That's baby boy. This is why you always keep the Come on, baby boy. Come on, boy. You never know when you will need it. Work for this guy. I do that, and our news director comes running over all the time. Surprisingly. It's delicious. 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 It's del